Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex and the royal family have had their fair share of ups and downs ever since he decided to leave the firm officially at the beginning of 2020. Moreover, since the publication of his bombshell book Spare, it's safe to assume the relationship between him and the remaining royals may have been strained even further. Though Harry and Meghan are expected to attend King Charles's coronation, their attendance may not get the friendliest of receptions from the other royals, who were supposedly planning to ice Harry and Meghan out. Interestingly, the titles were recently updated on the royal website, amongst which Lilibet and Archie were officially recognised as princess and prince. To some, the updated titles seem like an olive branch of sorts, and could even be a sign that reconciliation could occur sooner rather than later. However, a new piece of information has come to light that could have a further disastrous effect on the relationship between King Charles III and his son. It seems that the ill will King Charles III may be feeling towards his son goes even further than expected. According to Royal Commentator Daniela Elsa, who wrote an opinion piece for the New Zealand Herald, it's looking more likely that the Duke of Sussex will receive nothing in his father's will. Instead, the will is likely to focus heavily on his brother Prince William, the Prince of Wales and William's three children. Elsa's logic follows the change that Queen Elizabeth made in the 90s, when she decided that the royal family would pay taxes from then on. However, part of the tax deal the Queen negotiated was that money given from one sovereign to another would not be subject to the 40% tax rate inheritance sums usually are. As a consequence of this, William is exempt from the 40% tax fee due to being next in line to the throne. Of course, this caveat also means that Harry is not exempt, which could lead to him being disregarded completely. King Charles is allegedly outraged by all of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's attacks against the royal family, particularly his wife and eldest son. His Majesty has simply had enough. He's outraged at the despicable lengths Harry and Meghan keep going to to destroy the royals and bring down the monarchy since they quit their royal duties. The source said that after the couple found out they were being evicted from Frogmore Cottage, they tried to think of ways how they can retaliate, but whatever it is that they plan to do, it won't likely work. They tried to have their cake and eat it too by keeping Frogmore at their disposal, but that didn't work out. I'm sure Megan's ego is bruised, though I'm told Frogmore was never grand enough for her anyway, the source said. Meanwhile, King Charles's recent decision allegedly proves that he's still more loyal to Prince Andrew than his own son. After all, even though the Duke of York was accused of sexually abusing underage girls, he never lashed out at King Charles or the royal family publicly. Prince Harry, on the other hand, tried to trash the royal family's name. To avoid putting his little brother out on the street, Charles has offered him Frogmore Cottage. But Andrew is refusing to go. Andrew denies any wrongdoing with Epstein and Frey and is desperate to return to royal life. He knows that being banished to Frogmore means he'll never find his way back, the source said.